yeah, yeah, I did a thing, and I'm not sure if it's gonna stay like that, so, yeah. Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm doing an unhaul. I haven't done one of these before, but I am doing one now. Yeah. So first, yes, I changed my bookshelves. I have had rainbow bookshelves for like a really, really long time now. And I love them, but I've been kind of getting bored with them, so I unrainbowed them. And I'm not sure if it's going to stay like this. I'm trying to convince my mom to let me get new bookshelves, because these ones have this stupid little shelf, and I don't like that. And also, they keep leaning forward. Like, both of them have been leaning forward. So one of these days, they're gonna kill me. I'm quite nervous that they're gonna fall on me. But I'm not nervous for me so much as I'm nervous for my books. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll just get into the unhaul. So, I'm doing an unhaul video because I have, like, 120 books on my TBR. And... I wanted to, to I wanted to participate in hashtag zero by sixteen challenge this year, and I couldn't because I had like 120 books on my TBR, and I wouldn't be able to buy any new books, and I just it was setting me up for failure because I can only read a hundred in a year, like I know for sure. So it kind of sucked. So now I have, with the help of Raylene at Padfoot and Prong zero seven for her inspiration. Thanks. I have gotten rid of a bunch of books off my TBR, and now my TBR is at 94 books, which is quite reasonable, and I think I can do it. I've been reading like crazy lately. Like, I have like nearly 20 books for my January wrap-up, so like, I think I'm on track. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's enough. So, these books are going to be going one of three places. I can't do a giveaway. I'm really sorry, but most of you live like all over the world, and shipping would just be ridiculous, and I just can't afford that, so I'm really, really sorry. So, some of them are going to be going to a local thrift store where all the proceeds um, of their sales go towards cancer research, and then some of them are going to be going to to a local Goodwill, and then the other books are the ones that I'm not 100% sure that I want to get rid of, and those are the ones that I'm going to put in my garage. They're going to be in a box in my garage, and if I think about them again and I want to read them, then I will put them back on my TBR, but if not, they're going. Yeah. So the first book is The Ghost Bride by Young Z Chu. I might want to read this again. I just kind of bought it for the cover, to be honest. But it does sound kind of cool with the Chinese mythology and stuff. But I'm not, like, 100% into it. And it's an adult historical fiction. And I don't know if I really have the time for it right now. So, yeah. Next is A Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young. This is a book about angels and I just think it's gonna be really corny. It looks like it's gonna be corny and I just haven't heard that many things about it, like that many good things about it. And it's, I don't, I don't know. Next is Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. I've heard really great things about these books, but I'm just not really that interested. Next I have Pulse and Tremor by Patrick Carmen, which are the first two books in the Pulse trilogy or series. I don't know what it is, but I just don't know when I'm going to get to these. I don't know if I'm really that interested in them. I really don't know. Next is Bewitching by Alex Flynn. I'm pretty sure this is the second book in a series or something, but I, I'm I'm never gonna read it. I just, yeah. Next is Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. This one just doesn't really interest me. I don't really like reading about when people are super thirsty, which I know sounds so stupid, but basically I just don't like when people are really thirsty because it makes me thirsty all the time. Like, I'm thirsty right now. So I just, I don't know. Next is Anti-Goddess by Kendare Blake. Um, I didn't really like the Anna Dressed in Blood duology by Kendare Blake, so I just don't think I'm gonna like this one, even though it's about Greek mythology. I just, I don't know. Next is Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. Next is The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. I was gonna keep this, but then I just kind of started being merciless and just being like, I don't really want to read that right now or like anytime soon, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So that's what's happening. Next is The Golem and the Ginny by Helene Wecker. 
I'm not gonna read this anytime soon. Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli. This one, um, my friend, I, she had it and it seemed really interesting to me. It's about a Jewish boy who wants to be a Nazi. So like, super interesting and I might end up reading it because it is really short, but yeah. Every Day by David Levithan. A lot of people have mixed feelings on this book. I'm just not really interested at all. I'm sorry. Immortal City by Scott Spear. I got this because I just thought the premise sounded interesting, but I haven't picked it up yet, so I don't think I'm going to anytime soon. The Distance Between Us by Casey West. I've just heard bad things about this, so I don't want to waste my time. Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. I'm not sure if I'm into the whole mermaid thing. Red Glove by Holly Black. Um, this is the second book in the Curse Workers trilogy, and I don't want to have to buy the first one to read this one, because I don't really want to read it that badly. Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I'm just, yeah, I'm not that into the angel thing, and I feel like a lot of these are angel books but I'm not that into it. I'm sorry. Slammed and Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. I read Slammed and I didn't really like it, so I'm just not gonna keep either of them. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. I have two copies of this. Revolver by Mar Marcus Sedgwick, which is super tiny, so like maybe, but probably not. I'm just not that interested. This next one may come as kind of a surprise to a lot of you, but that is The Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. I have had Delirium forever now and I just haven't picked it up and I don't really see myself doing that anytime soon and I've heard that Requiem has a really unsatisfying ending so I don't see the point in getting invested with this whole trilogy if it's going to have a shitty ending so yeah. Perfect Lies by Kirsten White which is the second book in the Mind Games duology. Really I could read this and have another finished series because it's super tiny but I just don't want to. Side Effects May Vary by Julian Bird. I was so excited for this book when it first came out. I thought it sounded really cool and just very interesting, but I've just heard not that great things. I've just heard that the main character is a brat, and now my excitement has significantly died down to like two. Yeah. Next is Proxy by Alex London. I have heard really great things about this, but I'm just not sure if it is for me. Next I have Taken and Frozen, which are the first two books in the, um, what is it? I don't know, Taken Trilogy or whatever? I don't know. Um, it sounds a lot like the Maze Runner, so I'm just not that down. Partials and Fragments by Dan Wells, which are the first two books in the partial sequence. These are really big books and I just don't really feel like committing the time. I have heard good things, but I've also heard bad things, so I just don't feel like committing the time to it right now. The first two books in the Madman's Daughter Trilogy, so I have the Madman, Madman's Daughter and Her Dark Curiosity. Um, I... The I've heard good things, but like I feel like they're not gonna be something that I would like. So yeah. The Visions trilogy by Lisa McMahon, so that's gasp, bang, and gasp. No, crash, bang, and gasp. Whoopsies. So yeah, these I just um bleh. It was mostly a cover by, I haven't really heard that great things. A lot of people have told me not to waste my time with it, so I'm not going to. And the last book is Uninvited by Sophie Jordan. I got this when it first came out, but I just haven't read it and I haven't felt like reading it, so it's gotta go. And that is all for my unhaul. Uh, that was a pretty big unhaul, so I'm pretty happy with that. My TBR pile is down to 94 books, which is manageable. I can do that. I can do it. I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm doing this new thing where I like, for every like two or three books that I read, I am going to buy a book. Like I'll be able to buy a book. I don't have to, but if I want to, I can. So yeah, hopefully that goes well. And that is all for today. And let me know if you have any books that you have unhauled recently. And I think that's it. So, I will talk to you guys in the next video, which I'm gonna film right after this one. 